Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 20. The question says 150 workers are engaged to finish a job in certain number of days. So let's suppose the number of days is, I will say, x and 150 workers. x days, total work is 150x. So this total work. Now the scene changes. In the first day, 150 workers were there. In the second day, four workers drop. That is 146. This is first day. This is second day. On third day, four more drop. They become 142. Third. On fourth day, again four more workers drop. So they become 138. So they keep doing it. Like this, fifth day is 130, 134, and eighth day. The normal pattern was that 150 workers should work for x days, but they drop and they took x plus 8, that is, they took n days extra. Correct. Or let's assume this way the total number of days they took is n, and they had, let's suppose, 150 plus n minus 1 into d is again uh, minus 4 right because every day they are dropping 4 so another day they had this number so they took n days actually actually they took n days and and they were supposed to take how many n minus 8 days because 8 days they took extra actually they took n days and they were supposed to take n minus 8 days so in case of suppose that means if 150 workers were working and then they were supposed to take n minus 8. This is for the total work. Total work is nothing but number of labors, the number of workers into number of days. So actually, or they were supposed to, this is the supposition, they were supposed to finish the work as n minus 8 days. But how many days they took? They took n days. Now, when you count this value, now we have to count 150 plus 146 plus 148 till n. Then we have to use formula of AP because it's AP. So SN is nothing but N by 2, 2A plus N minus 1D. Here A is equal to 150. This N by 2, 2 into 150 that is 300 plus N minus 1 and D is minus 4. So what we get here, if you solve this, this becomes n by 2 into 304 minus n. And if you solve this, 304 minus 4 n actually, sorry, 4 n. If you solve this, this becomes 152 n minus 2 n square. Because this gets cancelled, it's become 152 n. And this becomes minus 2n square. You multiply it and also. So this is the total number of days, actual total number of work. I'm talking about total number of work. Total number of work is sum of all the work per day. First day, first day it was 150 man work, second day 146, third day 142. If you add, this becomes total number of work. So if you see in both the cases, the total number of work is seen because the work is same. Only the days different is there. In first case, in case one, they took n minus one eight days. In second case, they took n days. But the work is same. In first case, the number of labors were constant. In the second case, the number of labor kept diminishing by four. So if you see in both the equation one and this equation two, if you see this is equation two, in both the case, the work is same. Both are total work. So we can say that total work is same. That is one fifty into n minus eight. This is the work. In the first scenario when the worker were constant and this is the word in the second scenario when the worker were not constant is same correct we can equate this equation because the total number of work is all same so this becomes if you solve this this become i'll just write it here 150 n minus 150 into 8 is uh, 1 2 i just wrote it here or i can say i'll write the equation in the form of n squared this okay, n square and this will become minus 2n correct n square minus 
this is 152 and this is 2n square I think yeah this is 2n square so we give 2n square and this is uh, 2n square minus 2n plus 1200 is equal to so what is this minus or we can say this as nothing but n square minus n plus sorry this is minus this is minus 600 is equal to 0 or we can say n square minus 25 n plus 24 n minus 600 is equal to 0 this is n so if you solve this, this becomes, if we factorize this equation, this becomes n minus 25 into uh, plus 24, 20 into n plus 24, correct? So that is n is equal to minus 24 or 25, but it can't be minus, so n is 25. That means the total number of days in which the work was completed is n so total days of actual completion actual completion is nothing but 25 and supposedly they are supposed to complete by 25 minus 8 that is 17 days they are supposed to complete but actually they took 25 days since in the question we are asked to find the number of days when the work was actually completed so n is equal to 25 and this is our answer very simple what we have done there are two cases first case n is constant and case where uh, the number of labor is constant in this case and the number of labor varies so in both the cases we found the number uh, total work here the total work is sum of this ap because every day it did this 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 work in first day it did 150 unit of work second day 146 unit of work it keep doing the work the total number of work keep happening so the sn is nothing but total work total work we found was 152n minus 2n square that is it took n days in case 2 where the number of labors were constant we are supposed to take n minus 8 days so total work done is n minus 8 days is 150 into n minus 8 this both are total work total work is constant so we equated this equation and we got this value n is equal to 25 let's take one more question it's a gp question of manufacturer recall the value of machine which costs him the current price is once five six to five and this depreciates by 20 percent for example if this was 100 today it become one minus 25 next year so if you see the the price this is the, the after one year this is the current price what is the price after first year after first year the price will be 15625 into 1 minus 20%. Right? So it, it will come out to be uh, 15625 into 0.8. In third year, again it will depreciate by 20%. So we will take this price into 0.8. In this, again, we have to do 20% depreciation. So what we get is 15625 into 0.8 square. So if you see, similarly in third year, we will get 15625 into 0.8. So if you see there is a GP here, the first year, the price was this. After first year, the price began 15625 into 0.8. And then the price became 15625 into 0.8 square. Then it becomes 15625 into 0.8 Q. Like this. So if you see, this is A and this is R. It's a GP. Now we have to find what is the value at the end of fifth year. So we know TR is equal to A R minus 1. Correct? So here we have to find fifth. So or we can say T5 is nothing but A R to the power 5 minus 1. So here A is equal to 1, 5, 6, 2, 5. See here. And R is equal to 0 0.8 and 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So this is the value. So if you solve this, this becomes 15625 
into 0 0.8 to the power 4 is 864 to square that is almost 0.4 so this becomes 6400 approx rupees so what we have done we were told that the price of a machine depreciates by 20 percent every year so we saw that first year it was 15625 second year it was 15625 into 0.8 this is first year this is second year this is third year this is fourth year and similarly for fifth year it will be 15625 into 0.8 part 4 that's what we have got it's a, it's a gp and we have used the formula so also if you are let's suppose asked to find the value after 500 years so we can see that is a r to the power 500 minus 1 that is a r to the power 499 and we can put the value of a r and to get the answers very simple thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again